Hello there, this is Susanna. Please like, share, and subscribe if you find my videos useful. So, what patterns are we actually talking about? I'm pretty sure that you felt and identified in your life some sort of repetitive scenario, some sort of limiting experiences that seem to come out of nowhere, despite your efforts to move into a certain direction. Well, these are actually generated to a great extent by your unconscious mind and by your body. Actually, the specialists are saying that 95 to 99% of your decisions are determined by your unconscious mind and that your body, your body is actually your unconscious mind. And the unconscious is the body. That's why we say that the body never lies. And according to the parents of NLP, within our inner frame, everything, everything is a strategy. Every single little thing that you're doing has its own correspondent strategy and a reason to be there or a positive intention. And it's the unconscious that makes sure that this strategy is applied systematically and consciously whenever it is needed. Take, for instance, driving or any other task that you're now performing with total ease, walking, swimming, running, playing piano, singing, painting. All these have been learned and carefully stored in your unconscious mind. And some of these strategies or patterns are useful. In fact, the unconscious mind, they're all useful and they all serve a purpose. So unless you communicate directly to your unconscious mind and change these patterns, the ones that are no longer required, that no longer serve you, well, your unconscious mind will continue doing what it thinks is good for you in order to protect you. On the other hand, from a very perspective, we all inherit at birth a certain package, a unique constitution that unless we bring it to a state of balance, we will always be pushed to the left and to the right, pushed around by life, by the marks of these five elements predominating in your body. For instance, vata or the wind will make one feel anxious, worried, stressed. Now, these predominant patterns will determine the way you live your life. As you never get to see what actually is, you don't see reality, as you will always look through the filter or the lenses of your doshas. So why am I calling these patterns? Because this Excessive elements or doshas are systematically produced by your body. Once a vata, you'll always be a vata. Moreover, your body carries not only your own memories, but also the memories of your ancestors. So this is why I like combining these two philosophies. And I like to mix NLP with Ayurveda because it gives such a broader understanding of what is actually happening in there, in your mind and body. Because the first step in changing something in your life is having a clear picture of what is going on. And the second step is to attempt to change these patterns by knowing and respecting the laws at work there at various levels of your being. One precious thing that I've learned from my practice is that we should never attempt to correct an imbalance by creating another one. All the changes that you want to do should be done in the most loving and respectful way towards nature, towards your nature, in total respect of your integrity and in all security. And this is what we're going to do together. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you whenever you're ready to have a real breakthrough. And I'll see you soon.